Okay, welcome back, everybody. Hopefully you took advantage of uh, what I put out before the tournament began. No, I'm a little late with this video, but as expected, uh, Canada won the second straight World Junior Hockey Championship, which was a very easy call. If you saw the video I put out on Sidney Crosby becoming the Order of Canada, it was as plain as day that Canada would get the gold medal again, put it out for free. Unfortunately, there you know, anytime you're betting on Canada to win a hockey tournament, it's nothing to brag about. But um, like I said in that video, when Canada won the 46th World Junior Championship on August 20th, I said, look, it's exactly 138 days before the gold medal game to conclude the 47th World Junior Championship. And, for, and 47 is the 15th prime number in Canada sums to 138 and 15. So what a perfect script they had. And let's not forget that on Pope Francis's 86th birthday, we talked about the dead Russian player, Abakar Kuzbekov, who died at age 46. Like how, or die, his name summed to 46, sacrifice is 46, and Hockey Canada is 46. So it was pretty clear this guy was sacrificed for Canada's rigged World Junior Championship. And uh, remember, from the date he died to the gold medal game was a total span of 20 days, like how gold is 20 and Canada won its 20th gold medal, like how they won their 19th after COVID-19. So what a perfect script they had. They're, usually you like to see 24. That's the number you typically want to see with Canada, but uh, these other numbers are relevant, but... Um, We've been taking it slow in the NHL this season, but uh, 2024, <laughs> you can you can pretty much lock it up. We'll see two Canadian teams in the Stanley Cup final in 2024. Pretty sure we've known we've been talking about for eight years who the team's going to be in the Eastern Conference. Uh, there's one guy who's a good member of the community. He he thinks it's going to be the Ottawa Senators. Personally, I think it's the other team in Ontario that makes a lot more sense. But we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. And you know, it's funny. I happen to see this. There's a big uh, kerfuffle within my county, Butler County. Apparently, there's a new sign out on, uh, on Route 422 out by Bonnie Brook, which is like 25 minutes away from where I live, that they say says offensive and hateful things, and they're demanding that it gets taken down. And as usual, it's the college-educated white liberal assholes that are fucking everything up. Because typically, you know, in Summit Township here, it's usually a pretty conservative community. Most people don't give a shit about that. But it goes on to say, some community members said they were shocked and disturbed when they saw the messages displayed. I think it's terrible, and I think it's disrespectful, and I think it should be taken down, said Laura Mitchell. <clears throat> she should work on her grammar. But uh, one of the messages says, the FBI corrupt and dangerous, the Gestapo with a swastika. <laughs> and I can't, I can't disagree with it, to be honest. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. And uh, another message says, stop teaching critical race theory to our kids, referring to critical race theory, obviously. And critical race theory, unless you've been living under a rock, is anti-white racism. And another thing the sign says is it talks about how there's a war on white people, which I'm also not going to disagree with. I mean, again, it's like, are you on this planet right now? <laughs> the, the only racism that exists is anti-white racism. I mean, hell, look what we just got. I mean, I've racism against black people. That hasn't existed in 58 years. I mean, for those people who use the George Floyd killing as, as a reference, I mean, you might want to... Uh, you might, you might want to request the free uh, through the Freedom of Information Act and look at the homicides in the United States that you can look back to all the way to 1997. Because keep in mind, the United States is still a country that is 60% white. And every single year from 2022 through 1997, there are twice as many white people murdered by black people than black people murdered by white people. So for these college educated white liberals that like to use interracial murder to determine racism, you should know that by your logic, that would mean black people are the most racist and evil people on the face of the earth. 
which I know is not true at all. I got plenty of, know plenty of great black people, got a lot of black friends and uh, lost my virginity to a black girl. So I don't think you're, I don't think you're doing that if you're racist, but um, it's funny too, where the, uh, <laughs> they come, they come out and they talk about how these messages are. There's another one that says marriage, one man, one woman. And everybody's upset about that. And apparently they think it has something to do with a, a hatred toward the uh, LGBT alphabet soup community. When in reality, I mean, I mean, me personally, I get why people wouldn't like that. I mean, you know, again, I'm, I'm under the belief of do what you want to do. Right. But when you think about marriage and what what marriage was meant to be, marriage was meant to be between a man and a woman because it was meant for the sole purpose to showcase the difference but that a relationship between a man and a woman can have because a relationship between a man and a woman is different in the fact that it can procreate, which is different than a relationship between any other two people. So that's why marriage became a thing. Now, again, I ain't against gay marriage. Do what you want to do, but oh man, I just I just got my uh I just got my strike taken down today, January 12th. You know, I, I got still got one strike on my channel. I got the other one taken down. But again, the reason they're pushing all this woke liberal nonsense where they want, you know, they want people cutting off their genitals and they want people identifying as gay and trans. It's all part of that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not even going to write it on the screen. You know what? But it's it's got something to do with uh, population decrease. And it's funny too. You see all the people that are like, you know, they they're like triple boosted, right? I got to be careful what I'm saying, but you guys know what I mean. You'll see people that are triple boosted out there calling this stuff conspiracy theories. It's like I want to go back and look at what Bill Gates said at his 2010 TED Talk. And if I was you, I would not take health advice from people who think the Earth is overpopulated. I wouldn't do that. And it's funny, too, how they always come out and talk about how people who anybody that has like, you know, more or less traditional conservative values, they always say how they're hating people. This is hate speech and they're offended by it. You know, it's like, OK, you know, first of all, saying that your government is dangerous, the FBI is. I mean, are you fucking retarded? You haven't figured out that your government is evil, that the FBI is evil that your government is nothing but, you know, mind control. That's literally the definition of government mind control. The definition of terrorism is government by intimidation. It's like, how the fuck do you not know these things? Of course, then again, if these are the people that are triple boosted, I, they're not the most intelligent people. <laughs> they're, they're no better than the Christian conservatives that they're, uh, that they're, and that's the other thing too. It's like you're hating on somebody who has a different view than you. So you are spreading hate, correct? And do you ever see, do you ever see like a, like a conservative rally versus like a liberal rally. Like you ever notice how like when liberals are rallying and you go there to like ask them questions, even if you have a similar viewpoint, you're just trying to have a conversation with these people, how they're like screaming at you the whole time, shoving their like, you know, signs and posters right in your face. They're MFing you all the time. They're saying F you fascist and they're calling you a Nazi. It's like, hmm, that seems to be spreading a little bit of hatred there, is it not? But uh, it, it, it is funny. I went on to read the rest of this, but um, the article's right up here, but it's got to play a commercial first. Good old, good old, the black and gold zone. Good old Steeler fans. So disappointed, disappointed those Jets couldn't come through for him and get him into the postseason. Oh, man. Uh, it's funny how they say I would like that. <laughs> God, people come out and they say that um, I respect their views and I want them to respect my views. It's kind of funny because it's like, okay, if you put like something like that, a billboard like that up, people get offended by it. But yet these people are also offended when, you know, anybody with like a conservative viewpoint calls out the fact that they don't want, you know, like a professional sporting event to host a gay pride parade. But anyway, we're getting a little off topic, but uh, – <laughs> oh, it's pretty damn funny. Like, again, I'm not, I'm not going to watch the story on this because I've never watched the news a day in my life and I'm not going to start now. So we'll leave it there, guys. Till next time.